Hello there, everybody. Uh, Data Pioneer here from the Linux Unix Tech Channel. And today I thought I would do a full system setup and review of Fedora 30 uh, Mate with Compiz. Uh, good mate of mine on the Backyard Tech Channel, uh, Backyard Tech. Um, he's already done a uh, full system setup and review of Fedora 30 Workstation. And I took a look at it, took a look at his video on his Backyard Tech channel, and please go up and subscribe to him. He's, he's a great, great guy, Backyard Tech on YouTube. Um, I took a look at it. wasn't really impressed with uh, Fedora 30 Workstation, though. Nothing wrong with the video. Just didn't like the uh, operating system. So I thought I'd go ahead and give Fedora 30 uh, Mate with Compiz a sticky beak, as uh, Backyard would say. And uh, we'll take a look at it. If you want to join me, uh, come along. We'll take a look at Fedora 30 Mate with Compiz. Do a full system setup and review. Let's get at it. Okay, uh, welcome to uh, Linux Unix Tech Channel, and uh, this is Data Pioneer coming at you. And I thought I, today I would uh, take a look at Fedora 30 Mate Compiz. Uh, so I'm going to run that in a virtual machine, and I'm going to run it on my virtual box uh, 6.0 server. Uh, so I'm going to go up here and let's get started with it. I'm going to click on Machine New and open the interface here. I'm going to call this uh, Fedora uh, 30 and I'm going to call it uh, Mate Comp. I'm going to be underscore Compiz. All right. It's based on Fedora 64 bit and I'm going to give this thing a pretty good fair amount of memory. I've got 16 gigs here on this main PC. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give it uh, 6144, which is, I believe, 6 gigs of, uh, of memory. Uh, I'm going to create a virtual hard disk drive now. So I'm going to hit Create. I'm going to give it 32 gigabytes of VDI space. That should be sufficient for this uh, virtual machine. It's a VDI, a virtual box a disk image, dynamically allocated. What that means is that it starts out small and builds up to a maximum of 32 gigs. If I gave it a fixed size, it means it would start out with 32 and remain that. I'm going to do a dynamic create. create. So we've created the VDI. I'm going to go ahead and hit settings here. We're going to change some settings. Under general, I don't need to make any changes at all under system here. I'm going to untick the floppy, select the hard disk, and move it up. Um, I'm going to uh, click on, I'm going to keep it at one processor here, all right? I only have one processor, it's a dual core, uh, i3, Intel, uh, 3.9 gigahertz. For display, I'm going to select a full 128 megs here, one monitor. I am going to switch from VMS VGA to VBox VGA. All right, and I'm going to enable 3D acceleration. For storage, I'm going to click that empty, and I'm going to select the uh, virtual optical disk file, and I'm going to um, go out to where I have my uh, ISO stored, which is in the last vol 2 drive F, which is out on the dual bay uh, external hard drive. I believe this is my Western Digital Black Enterprise Drive. I'm going to select the Fedora Mate Compiz Live x86-64. That's a 1.2 gigabyte ISO. I'm going to click OK. And under audio, I do want audio, so I'm going to select the ICHAC-97. Enable the audio output, but no input. For network, I am going to keep the one adapter, but I am going to change it to bridged away from NAT, okay? So the reason I do a bridged adapter is so that I can have the virtual machine on on the same network that my main PC is on, so I can touch it if I want to. Nothing with serial ports but USB. Uh, I am going to bump that up to a USB 3.0, and I think we don't need any shared folders or user interface. This is a virtual machine. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and that's all the settings that we need to make, any changes that we need to make here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click the Start button and go ahead and launch this thing. Now, what I'm going to do right away is I'm going to uh, click View and go to Full Screen. 
because I like the full screen. I'm going to start Fedora Mate Compiz Live 30 here. So I'm going to hit enter and let it start up. And so uh, Fedora 30, um, I looked at the workstation. I wasn't really happy with the workstation. Um, I'm not really sure I really need to do this. This is a something that this particular installer, which I believe is the Anaconda installer, uh, for Fedora 30, it's looking at checking the, um, the file system itself, or the space, rather, uh, that it's going on, which is the VDI, 32 gigabyte. I'm going to let it go ahead and finish that, uh, although I don't think it's necessary. I could interrupt it by hitting Escape and aborting the check, and it would move on. But we're at 70% now, so let's just let it finish. And once it completes this, it will go ahead and finish up its uh, boot up process. We will be booting up into a live version of Fedora 30, Mate. Mate or Mate. Some people say Mate. I call it Mate. And it is a Compiz enabled. Um, we did get a failure on the monitoring the hardware. Um, not sure why. It doesn't really seem to impact anything negatively, so it's not a big deal. This is a virtual machine, so that's, you know, you can't expect things like that. If you were doing this on bare metal, it probably wouldn't matter. All right, so this is a live version, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit log in. And it should log me in to the live CD version, or DVD version, rather, of Fedora 30 Mate. And here we are. This is Fedora 30 Mate. I like the desktop uh, background wallpaper. I really like that. Fedora is good for wallpapers, uh, and you do have a selection you can deal with and select from. Uh, we've got the standard panel at the top. We've got the panel at the bottom. I'm just going to go ahead and install the hard drives. I'm going to right-click and open here. I'm not going to do anything in the live CD, DVD version. And this is a virtual machine, so I'm not going to do anything fancy with partitioning. All right, so it, it um, gave us the welcome screen. This is the Anaconda installer, as I suspected. Um, we're on the English language, United States, here, and so I'm just going to click Continue. And uh, here we are on the installation summary. We've got the keyboard, time and, da uh, time and date which is set for America, New York, which is where I'm at. Not New York, but I'm in the Eastern time zone. Uh, English keyboard is good. Um, I'm going to change this network and host name here. But for installation destination, I'm going to select that. And we have the ATA VBox hard disk, 32 gigabyte. That's OK. That's what I want. As I said, I'm just going to let it do an automatic configuration. I'm not going to do a custom here or anything like that. Um, I'm not going to worry about MBR or UFI boot or anything like that. I'll just let it do it automatically. And so let me just go ahead and click Done. And it does take a few seconds for it to uh, do its thing here on the automatic uh, configuration. It's checking that storage configuration now to make sure that we do have the 32 gigs. We do have it. I'm going to click this network <clears throat> and host name. By default, the host name is localhost.localdomain. I'm going to change that to, uh, I have a, a DDNS set up on my router. And so I'm going to call this Fedora uh, 30 Mate Compiz dot Asus com dot com as the full, fully qualified domain name. So it's Fedora 30 Mate underscore compiz.asuscom.com. I'm going to apply that, and then I'm going to click Done, and let it change that. And it should come back to uh, the previous screen that we had here in a moment after it makes that change for us. Oh, invalid host name, I'm sorry. I forgot it uh, doesn't like underscore. All right, so let's do a dash instead. Let's apply that, and now let's click Done. I didn't see that warning at the bottom. I should have realized that was invalid. All right, so we've got that changed, and now let's go ahead and begin the installation.
Okay, so it's going to go out now and create the ext4, do a host of other things here. Um, it's looking for a root password. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and let's put that in. All right, and I don't want to lock the, uh, the root account. Let's go ahead and create that user. So I'm going to give it my name. The username, I'm going to call it Data Pioneer. Uh, for password, I'm going to go ahead and require password. I'm going to make this user an administrator, and the reason for that is if I don't, then I will not be able to use sudo in uh, the commands. And so let's go ahead and give that password. It's not like that would be a big deal if I forgot to check that because you could add yourself to the wheel group afterwards and be okay with that. Uh, but I just want to go ahead and let the system do that for me. Now I'm going to click Done. All right, so we've got our root password set. We've got a user account created. It's zipping through the installation of the software. It's at 22 23% right now. This is going to take some time to complete, however. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, stop the process and pick it back up uh, when we get closer toward the end. Okay, I'm back. Uh, we're almost at the end of this. Yep, and we are uh, just completed. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit quit and let's let's reboot Fedora 30. Mate Compiz. See what we have. I think I'm going to have to um, Reboot it manually because it does do that. All right, let's restart it. And um, check it out. All right, we've got the login screen. And uh, Fedora 30 is going to boot up now. And this is the Mate desktop environment. Compiz enabled. All right. I don't use Compiz a lot. I know in the days, early days of Linux, Compiz was good if you wanted to do cubes and rotating screens and things like that. But it has other, you know, purposes than that. But I don't use Compiz a lot. But this came with it, so I went ahead and installed it. It's the Mate desktop with Compiz. All right. So it's coming up. We should get a login screen to log in and I've uh, set up a user account so we should see that user account as well. And here we are. So we're at the login screen so let me go ahead and log in. And I'm um, logging in now. Let's see what we have. All right and very nice. Okay. Okay, so we have uh, two panels. We've got a top panel here and a bottom panel. And then we have the Fedora Live uh, um, DVD still out on the desktop here connected to it. The Data Pioneer's home and trash and a computer icon here. And so um, we'll get into the review here momentarily. I'm going to go ahead and uh, okay, uh, well, now that we've rebooted the, the system here with Fedora 30 uh, Mate Compiz, uh, you'll note that I have my Data Pioneer Southeast Home folder out on the desktop. If I double click on it, it brings up this interface here. And um, I think this is Kaja, I believe. Uh, let me just check about, yeah, it's Kaja, Kaja 1.22.1. Uh, it's a pretty good uh, file manager. Uh, it's not bad. Um, I like it. And uh, there's a link here to the Mate website, by the way, that you can click on. So you can go there if you want to check it out. Let me go ahead and close that. And notice we have um, a desktop, documents, downloads, the typical, you know, music, pictures, public, et cetera, et cetera, videos. Uh, very nice interface. Let me go ahead and close that. we got a pretty good um, wallpaper out here. I like... Um, Fedora's wallpapers. If you want to change that wallpaper, you can right-click on the desktop and say change desktop background. If you want to do that. And that opens up the appearance preferences window. 
and give it a few seconds. Here's uh, some of the wallpaper that you have available. It's pretty slick. Uh, got quite a bit here. Um, if you want to change it to something like, you know, stars, you can change it that way. And um, let's see, and that will bring up, you know, a new wallpaper. You can change it to another wallpaper. You know, you've got a, a lot of, of uh, options here. Uh, I like this one. I'm just going to change it back to that. And um, you can stretch it or you can um, uh, scale it, center it, zoom it, tile it, whichever you want to do. Um, I think stretching is probably the best. You got a horizontal gradient for color here on this particular wallpaper. I'm going to leave it alone. Kind of like the way it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. All right. And so we also have a computer icon out on the desktop. If I right click and open that, uh, it opens up. Uh, the VBox CD-ROM, uh, the VBox hard disk, and the file system. If I double-click that, it brings up the file system itself, which is the typical Linux file system. This is um, Mate, uh, based on Ubuntu, and so um, you're going to get that. So let me go ahead and close this. Okay, uh, we've also got a trash icon out here, uh, or rubbish bin, whichever one you want to call it. We've got two panels here. We've got a panel at the top and we've got a panel at the bottom. The panel at the bottom right now is has my workspaces configured. Um, I don't particularly care for the panel at the top and the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this panel and I'm going to delete the panel and say delete. So it's gone now. And what I'm going to do here on the top panels, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say um, Let's see here. I thought I could move it right away. Uh, about panel properties. All right. So let's say orientation. There we go. I'm going to say bottom instead of top. So it's at the bottom now. The size is okay. I think that's fine. I don't like to auto hide the bottom panel. Um, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is here and click close. So now I've got the bottom panel in place. And uh, I want to move some things around here, though, I think. I want to add, um, well, moving things around, probably not so much, but I want to add uh, the workspaces back. So I'm going to go ahead and add to panel. And it's called Workspace Switcher. And I'm going to add that to the panel. All right, I'm going to close that. And so there it is. I'm going to right-click on it. I want to move it. So I'm going to move it over to about there. I want to add some more um, workspaces. I like to have at least six out here. So I'm going to go ahead and right-click and Preferences. And here I want to add two more workspaces. It's a little long here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another row, double it up, and then I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to right-click and move it again and move it closer to the right-hand side, and close it. All right, so I've got six workspaces now that I can deal with. Um, let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, off to the right, we've got our workspace switcher now in place. We have the output here for the sound. I've got 45%. We've got our Ethernet network connection, which is wired, uh, and it's, it is a virtual machine on my main PC. We've got our calendar here, and so we've got that. We can, you know change that. Everybody's familiar with the calendar. So we've got it for August 2019. This is the 25th. Um, and then we've got the time. Okay. And so the time is 1140. Um, off to the left-hand side here, we've got the Fedora logo. Okay. And we've got an applications um, selection here. Universal access, system tools. We've got SE Linux. That's system uh, or security enhanced Linux troubleshooter, uh, problem reporting, uh, power statistics. We've got the Mate terminal, the Mate system monitor, the Mate disk user or use analyzer. Okay, so we can see how much of the disk we're actually using. This is a virtual disk, a VDI. All right, and so um, we have. Logs, Log File Viewer, HTOP. Let's take a look at HTOP. And um, I thought it was going to bring HTOP up, but it didn't seem to bring it up. Let's try that again. 
And if it doesn't bring it up, then what I'll do is I will open up the terminal. And let me do an HTOP. I'm not sure why that didn't open up HTOP. Okay, so here we have HTOP. And the memory we're using right now, as you can barely see it, with I've got the translucency going, here's 647 out of uh, 6 gigs of memory. So that's not too bad. Um, we've got uh, 99 tasks, 153 threads. got one task running. Load averages are pretty good, 2.04, 2.03, and 1.28. Uptime here on the system has been 3 hours, 14 minutes, 23 seconds. Uh, so that's that's not bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and close the terminal. Uh, I have updated this already. Um, as you can tell, I did a full upgrade on the system. So that did take a while. I didn't want to put you through that. So I went ahead and did that ahead of time. Uh, for system tools, uh, let's continue on. We have uh, Gparted, which is our partition manager. Um, and Fedora release notes, we've got the deconf editor. Kaja, which we've seen, and then the Blivet GUI. All right. For uh, sound and video, we have XF Burn, which is a CD and DVD burning application. We've got the sound interface. We've got pulse audio volume, uh, volume control. Uh, we have the Parole Media Player and Exhale, which is um, an audio collection manager. It's kind of like iTunes for Windows. For Office, we have the Mate Dictionary, we've got the LibreOffice Writer, LibreOffice Impress, the Draw, Calc, and the uh, Atrial Document Viewer. For Internet here, we have FileZilla. I'm going to go ahead and pull FileZilla up. And FileZilla is a neat uh, file transfer protocol manager. I've got a personal cloud at 192.168.1.157. The username uh, on that is Dan Calloway, and I'll put in the password. All right, go ahead and click that Quick Connect, and uh, since the server doesn't support FTP over TLS, that's all right. Always allow in secure plain FTP for this server, and click OK, and it brings it up. So here we are. I'm looking at my personal cloud. I've got a public side here uh, on it, and... Um, so I can have uh, shared documents, shared music, shared pictures, shared uh, software, videos, and uh, temp storage. So if I go into um, shared pictures, I've got a folder here called Bridges, uh, which is a collection of Bridges pictures. Let's come down to the pictures on the local system. Let me double click on it. And I'm going to uh, just drag and drop pictures into that area. And let it copy it down. All right, so it's copying now. And it is uh, copying those off, and it looks like it was successful. And so we now should have a Bridges folder out on the desktop under the Pictures folder or Pictures directory on the system. Let me go ahead and close FTP. And if I get into my home directory and go to the Pictures directory, there's the Bridges directory that I just copied down all those files from my personal cloud. So. Worked really well in Virtual Machine. All right, and uh, let me go ahead and close that. Okay, so where were we? We are on Applications, Internet, and FileZilla. We've got Firefox. Let's go ahead and open up Firefox, see what we have, what version we have. We should have uh, a fairly new version here. This is a, a new distro. Um, uh, all right, so let's go over to here, to Pancake, go down to Help, and go to About Firefox. And we're at 68 point, or dot zero dot two sixty four bit Firefox Quantum. So that's the latest version as far as I know. Very good. Okay. Um, we can do a few other things here. We've got the library. We've got add-ons. We've got preferences. We can customize things in this browser. Uh, we've got uh, find on this page, which is a search functionality. We have more. We have web development. Uh, we have print uh, capability here. We can even customize the browser as well. I'm not going to do that because everybody's familiar with the browser. All right, so we have Firefox 68.0.2 for quantum. Very good. Uh, for applications, again, up on Internet, we have hex chat. So if you're into Internet Relay Chat, they've got the hex chat. Thunderbird, if you are, uh, you know, a male person and you want to 
um, have a male client. You can use Thunderbird as your male client. Personally, I don't use it. I use uh, the web-based mail for Proton Mail, so I don't need a male client. And then Transmission, which is a BitTorrent um, for downloading files from the web. Uh, basically, if you're not familiar with, uh, with torrents, what the, those do, or what they allow you to do, rather, is they allow you to um, take files that are broken up into pieces, uh, download those individual files, and then the BitTorrent client brings them together at the end, uh, which is a little faster uh, than your regular main download or straight download a lot of times. Okay, and so now we have graphics. We've got Eye of Mate Image Viewer. So let me open that up. Let's take a look at that. And let's open that up into full screen. And let's do an image open. And let's open up the screenshot of the Fedora 30 uh, Mate Compiz or Mate, if you want to call it that. Let's open that file up. And there it is. And so not bad. Um, this was the screenshot I took earlier of the system. And uh, I'm going to be changing it to this look and feel here in a moment. Okay, so under Places, we have uh, Recent Documents. we got the Mate Search Tool, Connect to Server. We have the Network. We have Computer. We have Downloads, Videos, Pictures, Music, Documents, Desktop, and Home Folder. Under System, we can shut the system down. If we do that, we can suspend, hibernate, restart, or cancel, or shut down. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it. Um, we can log out. We can lock the screen. This is about Mate telling us about the desktop environment that we have, which is 1.22.1. .1. I'm going to close that. Um, we have a help functionality. We have the control center, which is very nice. And then the control center, we have the administration. We have hardware. We have internet and network. Go back to administration. We have Something new to me, um, because I'm familiar with Fedora, it is a spin of uh, Red Hat, um, open source version. And so I'm familiar with the Yum, uh, Yellow Dog Update Manager, Package Manager, but this is new, the DNF uh, Dragora, okay? And DNF Dragora uh, allows you to use something called DNF instead of Yum. So this is a file manager, the DNF Dragora. That's new to me. I am not familiar with it. We've got firewall language login window Mate user manager, which is basically your uh, user account manager here for Fedora. Um, my account is the only one right now, and it is an administrative account, not a standard. Uh, print settings, users and groups, which is the same really as the Mate user manager. However, you need to authenticate to get to it. And uh, it's going to pretty much open up the same screen. It's a little bit different. Um, it's opening it up as super user. All right. We got hardware here. And so with hardware, you got Bluetooth displays. And on the displays, I'm just dis running the 1920 by 1080 full screen, 60 hertz. It uh, came right up, by the way, when I installed, as you know. Uh, so I didn't need to install uh, VBox uh, guest editions. All right. Very nice that it did that for me. We have access to keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, mouse, and power management. For internet and network here, we have advanced network configuration and network proxy. For look and feel, um, here we have appearance. And I'm going to go ahead and click that because what I would like to do is click on the black mate and change this to black mate. I like the black mate look. And let me go ahead and click Close. And so now I've changed uh, my theme from what it was to now the Black Mate theme. I really like that. Uh, so under Look and Feel, we have the Kaja Actions configuration. We have the Compiz Config Settings Manager, Emerald Theme Manager, the main menu. We've got a pop-up notifications access. We've got Screensaver, Simple Compiz Settings Manager, Windows, uh, under personal, we have the about me, the assistive uh, technologies, file management, input method selector, onboard schedule settings, uh, preferred applications. If we click that, we can 
change uh, our web browser. If we've got a secondary web browser, I do not, so that I'll leave it the way it is. For mail reader, uh, I just have the one mail reader, Thunderbird. Uh, and so you can change other things as well, multimedia, system, office, and accessibility. I'm going to close that. Uh, under personal, we also have uh, the uh, Kenjai profess, uh, preferences. I'm not really sure what that is. All right. And then common tasks, we can change the theme out if we want to. And then we just did that. And then we can set preferred applications, which we did. Saw that as well. Okay. And let's go ahead and close this. All right. So that's, I think, everything that was under system um, administration. Yeah, these are under the control panel. Firewall, language, login window, Mate user manager, print settings, etc., preferences, hardware, internet, etc., etc. We've already seen that. Okay, so this has been a, a kind of a sneak preview here of uh, Fedora 30, uh, Mate Compiz. Um, I like it a lot. I like what I see here. Um, I can get into the terminal, and as I said, I can run like, a, you know, pretend I'm going to update the system. I've already done it. We may have some more updates. I'm not sure. What I can do is a sudo dnf, not yum, and search, or let's do uh, update. Okay. And so I'm going to put in the password for Data Pioneer Southeast. And let's, uh, let's run an update of the system here. We may have some additional updates. Not quite sure. And so uh, it's checking uh, for metadata expiration. Nothing to do. So all the dependencies were resolved. Nothing to do here. It was complete. But notice we didn't use the yum. We used the DNF. That's because of DNF Dragora, okay, which is the uh, Fedora 30 uh, package manager for this system. Let's do a uname uh, dash R. You can see we're running a kernel 5.2.9 dash 200 dot FC30 and it's x86 64 64 bit. If I run a uname and dash A for all, you can see that I've got the Linux. The uh, domain is fedora 30 mate dot com. And uh, here's the date and time, uh, UTC 21-37-45 UTC, Universal Coordinated Time, and I'm running an x86-64 GNU Linux, okay? So let's go ahead and exit out of the system. And I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to uh, get back into the terminal again, and I'm going to show you how we power off here. Uh, to get out of this, and so I'm going to go ahead and issue a sudo power off command and power down after I put in the password. Okay, so we're powering off Fedora, and we'll get back to the uh, desktop here. So this has been a look at Fedora 30, Mate Compiz. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked that video, go ahead and subscribe to me. Hit the subscribe button and uh, go ahead and hit that bell and that way you'll be notified every time I have a, an update. So thank you very much and have a nice day.